Hi there, final community, um, another update. Last update you just probably saw it has been recorded a long, long time ago, and since then and this uh, video, I think there's a month, so I didn't have much time to upload the videos. I had time to shoot them, but not upload them. Um, but I got 23 records right now, which is a lot. Not all of them are keepers, definitely not all of them. Uh, but there's some interesting stuff in here. It's it's um, secondhand records, as in uh, online and store. There's new records. There's secondhand, as in thrift store, Goodwill. It's a mixed bag. I I don't know if I showed this one, but this is Starguard with the theme from uh, theme song from Which Way Is Up, which is disco but funk, disco funk amazing uh, it's original UK pressing um, 1977 MCA starting off with that um, first couple of records uh, the first one I am gonna keep but it's not because I like it but it might be something my son will like uh, but then a few after that are not keepers at all um, Starting off with this one, this is Robin Hood, Walt Disney's Robin Hood, uh, the Dutch edition, obviously. Um, story and songs from the movie on Disneyland Records and Friedel, or sorry, yeah, Friedel. Uh, I try to pick these up every every time I see them. They're, they're pretty collectible. I, I I see online on Discogs. If they're in good shape, that is, obviously. The next two were uh, thrift store finds. This one was thrift store as well, but the next two are thrift store finds that I um, took a risk on, thinking they're records you never ever see, and they're from countries that, well, first of all, you, you hardly see any records by at thrift stores. First one is a Brazilian record. This is Trio Eléctrico, Doro en Osmar, uh, Incendio o Brasil. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, I only sampled this and I quickly put it away because it's a piece of shit. Uh, it's from 1981. It's on the Electro label. And I don't know what the what the hell this is. Um, it's sort of pop slash disco slash rock slash uh, Brazilian music, but there's a guitar player there who sounds like he's in a trash metal or speed metal band. Not that the sound is speed metal, but the speed is speed metal. It's terrible. I like the cover though, but that's about it. It's, it's really, really bad. Uh, so I'm not going to finish listening to that. I'm going to see what it goes for, and then I'm selling it or just dropping it off at Goodwill again. This one I am not keeping either. This is a little better. It's, you know, it's actually a lot better, but still not good enough. This is KFT with, uh, well, that's the title underneath there, which translates to Success, Money, and Glitter. Why do I know that? Because, well, the first song and the translation is behind it. Uh, KFT are a Hungarian um, synth pop group. Uh, it's on the Proville record label, 1986. There's a couple of tracks which sound decent. It's not great synth pop at all, but it's decent. But overall, it gets boring real fast, and uh, not my cup of tea. The, the cover, I had my doubts on, but because of his glasses, I thought this could be something cool. Then I checked out what it was. It says synth pop, and I was like, I, I need to check this out. But I'm not keeping this. The next one, I'm not keeping either, even though it's something that I do like. This is Doctor on the Spay. Um, He's a 
think an Austrian or a Swiss resident who moved to Holland, um, I think before the Second World War or after the Second World War. It's, I, I don't know. I need to look it up. Anyway, he became a uh, guy of the Dutch language. He, he studied Dutch language and um, he became, I, I guess, a professor or something. And uh, he's really, really smart when it comes to language. Um, he knows how to use the Dutch language in a funny way. Uh, and it is funny, but it's also very old. This is a stereo copy of his debut album, which I think was called Dr. Anders LP. It's funny, LP. Uh, uh, this is for originally from 1965. This is a, I think, early 80s or late 70s copy. Um, stereo, the original was mono, obviously. Uh, it's fun to listen to, but it's not really what I want. Um, here we have Jeffrey Osborne. I knew his name, didn't know which band he was from. Turned out he was from a band called LTD. I have a couple of records by them, love them. It's produced by George Duke. Love his work. It's 1983. I thought this could be electro funk. This is cheesy 80s soul, RB, whatever. Uh, it's slick. It's not good. Uh, it doesn't even have one funky moment on here. Not a keeper. This is uh, it's called Stay With Me Tonight. It's sentimental. It's cheesy. It's. Uh, going. Uh, another record I'm not keeping, but I just had to pick it up. This again, all three stores. This is uh, Godiego or Godigo or whatever. It's uh, the album's called The Water Margin. When I saw that, I was like, hmm. I know a song called The Water Margin. It's from a TV series and it's a Japanese TV series. And that song is pretty funky. Turns out these guys did it on here. And that's together with uh, another song which is on here. I don't know which song. It's the only funky moment. Otherwise, it's a very cheap um, copy of ELO. If you love ELO, chances are you might like this. It's very symphonic pop. And it's on the Cetra label. Uh, need to glue it. But yeah, I had to pick this up, and it's, yeah, it's a Japanese band, it's not Jap rock or psychedelic or progressive or whatever, it's, it's symphonic. I picked this one up as well, um, there's a story um, why I picked this up, it's the BC and M Choir, Hello Sunshine, Recovery. That what drew me then it's on the Salvation label. It's the first release on the Salvation label and I it didn't mean anything to me. Here's the back. Um, it's obviously gospel because the titles I mean I've decided to make Jesus my choice. He abides, amazing grace. It's very you know Christian gospel uh, in your face. But it's, it's a nice package. It's got a beautiful inner um, gatefold. And then this one, this drew my attention. It says Creed Taylor. Creed Taylor as in, I hope I can show it here. Creed Taylor Inc., which is CTI. This is a subsidiary of CTI. It's, um, Engineered by Rudy Van Gelder. It's got Bernard Purdy on drums. It's got Hubert Laws on saxophone But it's shit. <laughs> it's really really bad um, I don't know uh, I don't know what to say what to think of this uh, It turns out that later uh, Erto released a couple of records on this label uh, But overall it's it's Not good. It's it's Pretty standard gospel. It doesn't have a funky edge to it. 
even though this is from 72. Not a keeper, not at all. Um, two records that I might keep, I don't know yet. First up, this is Kenny Rankin's Like a Seed, um, 1972. There's Kenny. Uh, it's on Little David Records. This is the inner sleeve. Got a lot of uh, George Carlin sleeves on there. That's the label. Never saw this label until now. And it's a cool little label. It's actually a, a decent record. Um, still not sure whether or not I'm going to keep it. It's got a couple of psychedelic moments on here. Um, but overall, it's singer-songwriter. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I have another record by him that I liked as well, decently, but I'm not keeping that either. So I don't know about this one. We'll see. Then this one. This is uh, Devadip. Oneness. Uh, Silver Dreams and Golden Reality. Uh, Devadip is this guy, and that's Carlos Santana. He uh, had a moment in his life, I'm going to show the gatefold better, uh, where he was a, a devout Hare Krishna follower. And this is an album he released in that period. It's 1979 when this got released. We have the air sleeve. It's a pretty cool label on here. It's on uh, CBS. Um, and I don't really know what to do with this one. Uh, it's it's got its great moments, but it's 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 jazz fusion, more of a progressive sound. Um, guitar playing is awesome. Very spiritual, I think, but I'm not too sure about it. It's got its moments, but overall, uh, not really that convinced. Okay, uh, not even halfway through, and I'm already past 12 minutes. Billy Preston, um, late at night, 1979. Why did I pick this up? Because it's Billy. I love Billy. This is a uh, uh, Portuguese release on Motown, as you saw. Uh, there's a song on here called With You I'm Born Again, which he does with Sarita, which is really okay. It's, it's the hit, I guess, from this album. But I really like it. It's funky, it's disco-y, it's soulful. It's Billy. Shiny as well, very shiny cover. Um, more Motown stuff. This is Tenla Motown. Uh, is Hot, 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 Volume 4. The Dutch edition. It says just Ben Gilders. Uh, and that's it. It was Ten Gilders when you bought this in 1972. Here's the gatefold. The orange Tenla Motown label. Um, there's only like a couple of songs which I didn't know, but otherwise it's basically stuff you know. The Temptations, uh, the Four Tops, Marta, Reef and the Fend Marta Reeves and the Fendellas, Michael Jackson, he did on here three times, Supremes, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Stevie Wonder, uh, Cyrita is on here, Diana Ross Solo is on here. Uh, the coolest tracks are Sisters Love, Mr. Fix It Man. And the Undisputed Truth Superstar, and there's also a track by Valerie Simpson on here. I love these comps, so this is a keeper, most definitely. Um, also a keeper, but not really mind-blowingly good, is this one. This is Deodata, Deodata's, uh, Deodato's Whirlwinds, uh, 1974. This is not a CPI release, this is on MCA, Gatefold. AR, um, it features Billy Cobham on drums, um, Irby Green on trombone. There's a lot of people I don't really know, but it's funky, it's jazz funk. Uh, side A is not that good, side B is really, really good. 
Um, Side A features uh, only cover versions. Um, you got Moonlight Serenade by Glenn Miller, Ave Maria, which is horrendous, by uh, Frank Schubert, and he does uh, Steely Dance, Do It Again, and then B side, side B is just his songs, and they're funky. They are. I like I like side B best. So this was all thrift store. Now I don't have any thrift store left. No, that's it. Uh, next bunch of records are secondhand records, and um, excuse me. <coughs> 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 New records. <coughs> Gee. Um, first three are from a small flea market that I went to. Um, just a poke, sweet smoke. Um, I believe a German band or partially German. This is from nineteen, I believe nineteen sixty nine, uh, on the Catfish label. Dutch release, two tracks, side long tracks, and it's psychedelic. It's, I think it has a little edge of blues rock on here as well. Con uh, Connie Plank engineered, uh, engineered it. Iconic sleeve, great album. Um, if you see it, I picked it up for five bucks. If you see it for around that price, definitely pick it up. Um, Otherwise, you know, you have to be a uh, psych collector probably to really enjoy this. Picked up this one as well. This is Ambergris, self-titled, 1970. I think 1970 as well. It's on the Paramount label. Got the original Paramount inner sleeve. This is the U.S. pressing. Um, reason why I picked this up. The sleeve, this sleeve was reused by Pavement for an EP they did in the 90s. Scratched names on it and stuff, but yeah, I like this uh, sleeve. It's a really cool sleeve. Um, music, it's very much Blood, Sweat and Tears. Horn rock, 70s horn rock. A little funkiness to it, but it's more Blood, Sweat and Tears. But it's, uh, I think... Pretty cool release, and I like the albums that go like this. I like sleeve like that. So that's Ambergris. And the last record I picked up at that um, flea market is Dio's Sacred Heart. Yes, some hard rock, heavy metal, whatever. Uh, 1985, Ronnie James Dio has got the original inner sleeve it's on vertigo spaceship and i actually like this it's not mind-blowing but it's a fun record if you like 80s hard rock can't talk too much about that because most of you guys know it and if not it might be a cup of tea it might not be um the next four releases are from a record fair i went to um, last weekend, um, when this is uploaded, it's a couple of weekends ago, um, I went there, it was local, it was very small, there were like maybe 10, 12 vendors, that was it, uh, but I did pack up four records, um, uh, around 10 euros each, this one, this is Moon Dance by Van Morrison, I I think this is the French edition. It's got the original Warner Brothers inner sleeve and it's on the green label. Um, still needed this and there's uh, a couple more that I really need from this early period. Um, but otherwise, Van Morrison is not really my cup of tea, but I really like this. Uh, Astral Weeks is amazing. Um, so, had to pick this up. This one was five bucks. So that was a good deal. Uh, this was the most expensive record, 15 euros. Um, picked it up because it's on a label I really uh, find interesting. This is 
uh, Jimmy McGriff with the Mean Machine, uh, 1976 original U.S. pressing on, I hope you can see it, Groove Merchant. Yes, Groove Merchant. Uh, I only have one more record on that label, uh, and it's jazz funk, pure, unadulterated jazz funk. It's it's amazing. Uh, six tracks. There's Jimmy. Awesome suit. He's a, an organ player. Uh, well, not really organ. He plays Fender Rhodes, synthesizer, and um, to be quite honest, a lot of the artists on here, I don't know. But check out this label. Check out Jimmy McGriff. Funky. Um, clear by Spirit. Uh, I find it really hard to find affordable Spirit records. Uh, this one I picked up for ten bucks, which I find really great. It's a U.S. pressing. It's a promo copy. Um, not a white label. It's on the old label. And yeah, it's Spirit. If you don't know Spirit, I find them one of the more interesting 60s bands from the U.S. All I can say, I guess, I don't know. I uh, have not listened to this one yet, but I had to have it for that price, most definitely. And the last record I picked up at that record fair, another U.S. pressing. This is Ultra Wave by Bootsy Collins. Um, yeah, I think Bootsy was high as a kite on this record. Um, funk, B-Funk, got original inner sleeve. It's on Warner Brothers. Um, have not listened to this one yet, but it's Bootsy. You have to pick that up if it's affordable. Last four records, uh, it's going to be a long video, and I already thought so, but I'm still okay. The last four records are from a record store called Concerto in Amsterdam. Um, Two records I pre-ordered. One record is a cheapo that is new. It was sealed. Uh, but they have this selection of cheaper records every every once in a while. And this one I needed because it was a record I had in the 90s on CD and I loved it and I wanted it again. And one second hand, I'm going to show the second hand verse first. No means no. This is Life and Cuddly, 2LP set on the uh, Dutch Concurel label, but originally released on the Wrong Records label. Uh, no means no is a Canadian punk band that uh, decided to call it quits last year. Uh, they are mixed punk with jazz and this was the only record as far as i know that i still needed like full length albums not comps or eps or whatever uh, and i just needed this one so i think i got a complete collection of no means no which means that eventually i'll be doing uh, discography discography videos including no means no um, Next to labels, uh, it's, it's got 15 tracks, and this was released in 1991, so it's got the earlier period of, uh, earlier songs of that career. Gee, I'm tired. <laughs> then the record that I had in the 90s on CD, and I needed it again. This one was 15 euros, uh, no means, no means, no. Ministry, Psalm 69, the 2011 reissue, sealed. Uh, they had a whole bunch of them. Printed inner sleeve. 
it's the Rhino reissue. Um, if you don't know this record, this is, uh, I think, an amazing record from 1992. It's industrial, uh, you could call it industrial metal. I, there was a guy um, who commented on one of my really old videos where I talked about lard and talked about it being industrial metal. He didn't like that. Apparently it's not industrial metal, it's industrial music. So I'm not gonna say metal, but it's got loud guitars. Mm, ministry. So I had to pick that up. Uh, the last two are pre-orders that I picked up. Uh, first up, the new Happy Camper album. Happy Camper, called Gravity, like the artwork. Uh, they're a Dutch indie pop group comes with the CD, which is there somewhere. Uh, this is basically Happy Camper. Um, he and someone else out of this bunch is Happy Camper, and the rest is guest artists. So we got some more weirdness going on, and it's on white vinyl. Um, what does it sound like? Well, the previous album was very much indie pop in the vein of Bell and Sebastian. I think you could call it like that. This is more electronic, uh, but still pretty good indie pop if you like that stuff. And the last record I picked up, not really a surprise, this is the new Beck. Uh, Colors came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, I got the Indie store only release, yellow vinyl. It's got an insert, it's got a download code, and uh, because I pre ordered it and they were giving away something, which I'm going to show you, uh, to some pre orders, not every pre order that pre ordered this. It's not making any sense. But anyway, they were handing out these things a slip map. So I got one. Um, they gave it to uh, people who pre-order records regularly, and I'm one of them, apparently. So I got one, a slip mat with the new Beck album. That's it. That's it. 27 minutes. Ah, jeez. Thank you for watching if you made it this far, and I'll see you next video. Bye.